children welcome to the class of general knowledge today we will begin with our half yearly course with page number 7 teeny weeny bugs in this page we will study about different kinds of insects or bugs right so let's begin reading the first one this burrowing bug this burrowing bug is known for its amazing survival skills but has a difficult time living without soil that is scorpion here is a picture of the scorpion given children you can see here this is the picture of the scorpion number 1 it has a burrowing skills that means it is usually found in desert area where there is lot of sand and it dig holes in that and form burrows and live over there and where there is no soil then it is very difficult for them to live over there these are poisonous uh, insects children and these have insects in their tail area here from here they they inject uh, poison into the body of the other animals right on on which they inject their poison now number 2 this spider looks really scary and creepy however its bite though painful is less poisonous than a than that of a bee that is tarantula in this i'm talking about this tarantula you can see from the picture it has a very scary look it will give shiver to you when you look at it it is usually found in the places like america africa australia in the desert area especially okay and they are uh, harmless these are they, these look scary but they are harmless and they are poison they are very less poisonous less than that of a bee They, their sting just uh, develops uh, redness and swelling in your body and nothing more right so they are less poisonous than a bee right now number 3 its love for moisture makes it this glowing insect find home in humid regions the answer is firefly children you can see firefly so these they have love for the moisture means they live in wet areas why do they live in wet areas because they find their prey very easily in that area they feed on some uh, insect larvae worms okay they feed on them and they they are able to find it very easily in the wet areas or the humid regions means wet areas these are called fireflies as these uh, emit fire the abdomen the lower abdomen here emit uh, fires or they light up uh, in order to scare their enemies okay in uh, other animals which can attack them right okay so these are called fireflies and because of the presence of that one chemical in their body called luciferin because of that they emit light okay now number 4 known for its attractive color and unique spots this insect has an appetite for plant eating insects and thus is regarded as farmer's friend now these are i'm talking about ladybird these are very colorful you can see the red color with dots are there some many other yellow color blue or they are also found in these colors and these are called farmer's friend because they have an appetite or they have a desire they they eat uh, they eat they feed on which type of insect plant eating insect the plant the or we can say plant eating insects are called pest what do you call plant eating insects pest they eat feed on pest and these pests destroy the crops so when they eat on pest they help farmers to protect their crops the pest likes aphids okay now children moving ahead number 5 we are talking about This insect lives up to its name considering the fact that it finds perfect camouflage among the twigs where it creeps and crawls. We are talking about stick insect. You can see the picture of stick insect here. It looks exactly like a stick which is walking on the on the branches of the tree. Okay, you cannot make it out whether it is a twig or a, or an insect and it they have a good feature of camouflage that is the adaptation for protection they have they merge with the surroundings and so that they are, uh, they re often remain unnoticed by their enemies right now number 6 this social insect build hives by chewing wood into pulp and belongs to the wasp family we're talking about hornet this time okay now these are just like bees the honey bees they also live in hives okay they make their hives honey bee makes their hive with the help of wax they make their hive with the by chewing wood into pulp they make it papery 
paper shape and they make hives or their homes with the help of that and they live in groups they are social insects means they live in groups uh, like where the queen is the head and queen only produces eggs okay they belong to the wasp family means the family of bees okay and they are usually of yellow and black in color okay now now there is an important fact here you can underline this line the cockroach can survive for several days without its head okay cockroach you know uh, you have seen cockroach no moving around somewhere in the house also you must have noticed the cockroaches with the head and the abdomen this lower part is called abdomen they have legs okay now these cockroaches can live without the head also for uh, at least a week okay that is a special strange feature about this uh, cockroach they can live without uh, food for um, one month but without water they just can live for one week only and how they can live without uh, head because uh, they respire through they breathe through the holes in their abdomen which are called spiracles so though they don't need their head and also head has brain which controls the body you know which controls the action of the body so here in the abdomen they have all the nervous system which controls the basic functions which gives response to the outside thing okay so basic nervous function which is controlled by their abdomen only abdomen part has the nervous system which controls their body functions so they don't need their head okay even without the head they can survive but within one week they die why because of the thirst because they have a mouth with the which they drink water so without uh, so because of the thirst they die uh, in one week okay so that was a special fact here so here so learn this children yeah, i may give you the pictures you have to recognize the picture or i may give you the description and you have to guess the name of the insect here all right children okay I hope you have understood the page. Okay, so next video will cover the next page. Thank you.